Hello there. Welcome to KPJ Damansar Podcast, a show for inquisitive minds where we'll be discussing trending health issues with our panel of specialists weekly. If you'd like to share some ideas of topics, please send us an email. Now, let's kick off this show. Hello everyone. Hope that everyone is fine. Let's stay positive and let's fight COVID-19 together. It is difficult to know whether delaying fertility treatments during the pandemic period could decrease the chances of becoming pregnant for some women due to the possibility given that fertility and the ovarian reserve decline with the age and sometimes this decline can be steep. Postponing treatment 3 to 6 months can significantly impact the chances of being pregnant in certain patients. Therefore, there are biological markers which helps to assess the fertility such as anti-mullerian hormone or AMH which helps to predict the ovarian reserve where basically it predicts the number of eggs in a woman's ovary. A low AMH marker allows to project that an individual's ability to get pregnant could be affected by time. But while the hormone markers help with the clinical judgments, it is hard to attach that to a specific time. The longer the patient wait, the more they get worried and anxious about the effect, not only their chance of success but also their mental and physical well-being. As for IVF procedure, the risk of viral contamination to the oocyte and the embryos in the IVF laboratory, either from the infected patient or the healthcare personnel, is likely to be minimal because the repeated washing steps required for the culture and the freezing protocols will result in a high dilution of any possible contaminants. Even with no specific data available, available, it is assumed that sperm, oocytes and embryos do not have receptors for COVID-19 and are unlikely to be infected. Okay, will COVID-19 infection affects female fertility? When it comes to the impact of infections similar to coronavirus, such as influenza, on the female fertility, the evidence is few and far between. It is possible through a far from proven that the infection that caused a fever could interfere with fertility treatment. There is one small study reported that for women undergoing ovarian stimulation IVF, Having a fever during their cycles was associated with a lower number of eggs retrieval, need a longer cycle and higher dose of medication during the stimulation. However, even with it is were true that fevers could impact IVF or egg freezing cycle temporarily, there is no good reason to believe having a long-term effect on female. There is no evidence that a high fever significantly impact on the women's future fertility and COVID-19 will not impact on the female fertility. How about male fertility? There may not be a lot of information about the novel coronavirus and the effect on the male fertility, but we know that other viruses can affect male fertility in a short term such as influenza or seasonal flu due to the fever associated with the illness, which causes increase in the testicular temperature and subsequently reduce the sperm count and the motility. It is believed that currently COVID-19 is similar to a common seasonal flu virus regarding its impact on the male fertility. There is a good evidence that the impact is only temporarily. In one case study, a patient recovering from influenza produced normal sperm again within 45 days of post fever. And another data shows that the sperm count mortality began to improve in 50 to 70 days after the patient's fever resolved. Considering that one of the primary symptoms of COVID-19 is a high fever, it is reasonable to assume that men infected with coronavirus will also experience reduced fertility similar to a common seasonal flu virus impact on the male fertility. This impact is temporarily and fully reversible. Therefore, patients who desire to have a family and we are prepared to start the fertility treatment for them. We are with you and looking forward to achieve your dream of becoming a parent. And mostly important to follow all the guidelines set by Health Ministry and one which we need to strictly observe is the social distancing. Stay safe and stay healthy. Don't forget to follow KPJ Damansara Fertility Facebook. 
Hope that we as a Malaysian able to break the COVID-19 chain. Thank you. Malaysia boleh. Thank you for tuning in and catch us again in the next episode. For more updates, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See you.